Hey guys, I'm Mark and on this YouTube channel we cover affordable creative software, mostly Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher. Today we're going to answer a very common request how to add simple frames around your picture using Affinity Photo. So the good part is Affinity Photo is affordable software, so it's used by both professionals but also more casual users and they very often want to just create a simple frame around and they don't want to spend hours doing that. So I will address five different requests that I've been seeing on different Facebook groups, Reddit and stuff like that. So people asking how to make certain effects, how to create certain frames. All right, let's get started. Here we are in Affinity Photo. I load this little picture here. This is the original one. As you can see, I scale it down a little bit so we can see this white artboard around. And that's kind of the frame itself, you would say, but no, no, not just yet. Let's take a look. The first example here. That's the first type of frame you can very quickly apply to any image. The request is you need this empty area around. So how to add this kind of frame? That's really simple. You just need to apply layer effects. So take a look. I got this basic photo. I click FX in the layer section. At the bottom here, layer effects. You will get the pop-up window where you can turn on effects that will be applied to this layer. In our case, that's the layer with the picture. So as you can guess, outline is the is the effect we can use here. Here's the outline. We can move the slider left and right to create, to change the size of it. We can put it outside in the center or even inside the image. Let's keep it outside for this example. So we got this outline. We can change the color. No problem with that. Add a little bit of noise for texture. That's also possible here with this slider. Okay, and this is our outline. And if you want to create some kind of like light and shadow, you can also use this very first effect just above outline. If you turn it on, you will see it's giving us a little bit of light and shadow. So I invert this effect already. By default, I got shadow on the frame and light in the picture and looks a little bit weird. So I recommend to turn on invert here. And the profile will determine uh, the shape of this light and shadow. So we can change that to be soft or to be stiff. It can be soft like that or can be very stiff with the straight line. Of course, you can change the radius that's the size of it and we can adjust the colors the color is highlight white and highlight more like shadow black you can change this to overlay to make it softer and you can also move this transparency slider for each color so you can combine those two effects to get this very quick and easy frame just keep in mind if you're using this outline effect you need extra space around the image otherwise you cannot see it you can make it inside in that case would be all right but it will not blend nicely with this additional 3d like effect all right so that's really simple method using just layer styles we can create a simple frame very quickly the frame number two is a more artistic one you can say so in this case we got two elements we got the original photo with some kind of effect on it. And then I also draw a rectangle at the top. So let me show you how to do it. So the effect I use in that case is called Inner Glow. By default, Inner Glow will be some bright color. And it will be very soft like that. You cannot even see it. Okay, so it's more like that, just glowing inside. But we can change that. We can change 
the color to be black, blend mode to be multiply and intensity to 100%. And this why it's more like actual stroke inside than the glow. All right, so you establish this black frame and then you reduce the opacity. So it's like semi-transparent. You can see the origin of photo below this black frame. All right, and the finishing touch will be to draw additional rectangles. So we go there, down here, we got all shapes we need. Pick the rectangle for this one and just draw additional rectangle. You can first draw exactly same size as your image and we don't need a fill color here. So no fill and the stroke will be completely white. Two points that should do. Then we can scale this down a bit, holding shift and reposition to the center of the composition. And this way we got this semi-transparent black frame with this pure white line on the top. And I think this effect is really quick and nice. So that's the frame number two. Frame number three. That's also a common question, how to round corners and how to like put the image into perfect square. So that's two in one here. What we did was we first, let's get rid of that and do it from scratch. So I will duplicate the original picture. All right. So what you want to do is to simply draw this rectangle of round corners using shape tool. To get the perfect square, hold shift. All right, I don't want stroke this time around. And we can have a fill color. Any color will do because that's just temporary. Okay, and that's kind of where we will put our image. You can adjust the corner radius over here. It's 25, you can make it smaller or even larger. Okay, let's keep it. Let's move it to 20 maybe. And it's really simple. How we can put the image inside this? Simply click on the layer with the image and drag it and drop above this layer with the rectangle. And that's it. Now your image is inside this rectangle. That's simple enough. And now we can also apply some additional effect on this whole composition. So FX again, maybe this time we will use outer shadow. So we can simulate some kind of shadow here. And that's it. That's also very requested, very requested frame how to put it into the shape, just drag and drop on the shape. And that's it. So that was our frame number three, two more to go. Frame number four. Take a look. What do we have here? Frame number four is how we can make, actually it's not a frame, it's kind of anti-frame. So how we can blur the edge of the image. So it's like the smooth transition of the background. That's, I think that was the most <laughs> requested one. Even though it's technically not a frame, many people want to blur this, this edge easily. And there are some, like walk around like people giving the hints and tips but actually there's much much faster method that i'm going to show you today okay so take a look Ooh, let's delete that again and start from scratch so i will duplicate the original photo so that's the original photo what we want to do is we depends which shape you need if you want to just blur the edge of the image as it is I will go with rectangle, but in my case, I want to put it into ellipse too. So I will go with ellipse holding shift for perfect circle. And now with this shape, I'm going to blur it. So I will use light filters. You can find them here just below the layer panel and Gaussian blur here. And I can blur this shape. And you may think like, oh, I know what's going on. Now we just drag and drop this image inside this blur shape. And that's not exactly true. Take a look. 
if I do it right now, I drop this inside this blur shape, the image will blur as well. So that's not what we can do right now. Before we do that, we must rasterize this blur image. So right click on the layer of the blur image and we will rasterize it. Rasterize. And now we can just drag and drop this on it. And that's it. And you got a very nice soft blurry edge around your image. All right. So that's kind of the frame that people also request and ask about. And this is, I think, the fastest method for that. All right. Just one more to go. The last frame involve those separate shapes all around our main image. And this is really simple because the shape tool is really powerful in Affinity Photo. So here's my image. I apply a little effect here called Inner Shadow. Take a look. It's giving me this dark edge at the top and the left side simulating like distance from the frame. So that's nice. And a little bit of outer glow glow on this frame around. Okay, so that's my effect here. But now I need the frame. And to build frame like this, you can simply select trapezoid shape. So again, shape tool, there's so many shapes. Take a look, there's trapezoid as well. What do you need to do? You need to draw it all across. And what you should notice, there's, there are some control points in orange. If you cannot see them, like me right now, double click. This orange control point here on the left and on the right. I can pull it, but in this way I'm changing only one side. So you can hold command or control and you will move both sides same time. It should even snap to your image nicely like this. Then we can pick the color for the shape as well. It's editable, it's vector. All right, let's copy this so we can duplicate, right click on the layer, duplicate, and we can flip it. If you cannot see the flip option in your toolbar at the top, you can customize your toolbar. Right click on the toolbar, customize toolbar, and you can add any missing tool. So if you see any tool in my toolbar that is missing in your, you can simply drag and drop them make some customization, move stuff that you don't need. For example, arrange. I never use that. I just arrange by moving layers out. I got more space, so I put transform there. So don't be afraid to do a little bit of customization to enhance the experience. All right, back to the topic. We are moving this up and flipping this vertically. Perfect. Now again, I will duplicate that. This time I will use common shortcut. Command C, Command V. All right. I need to make it shorter, rotate 90 degrees, and I will place it here on the right side this time. And as you can see, it's not really touching the corner here. So I will again transfer those orange points. Perfect. Maybe adjust the color a little bit. And I will now copy this, flip it, and this way we assemble the frame around the image very quickly using trapezoid shape. All right, so here are my five easy frames that you can apply really quickly in a matter of minutes around the picture you like. So we can just use layer styles, or maybe we can use a uh, nice semi-transparent black color and then nice white line at the top very elegant look you can also put your image inside the shape so you will crop it into the shape what else can you do you can actually blur that shape and you will end up with this very soft edge around your image and the last option was to create trapezoid shape all around and this way you can make a custom frame, adjust colors, put texture or gradients on it, whatever you want to do manually here. All right. So here are my quick tips for easy frames. There are so many other ways you can do frames around the image. So maybe we'll make a follow up video one day. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to check my other tutorials. I think we just hit like 50 tutorials for Affinity Photo recently. So check this out and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.